Is it okay for you? The, mm, <laughs> <laughs> the power of number. There is an Indian legend that goes like this. Once upon a time, a king challenge, uh, challenging a, a pilgrim to a game of chess. The pilgrim agreed, but on one condition, if the king lost, he would he would put a single grain of rice on the first uh, chess square, and then the ball, the amount of every square after that. The king lost, and then the was, uh, and then discovered the price he had to pay: one grain on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, eight on the fourth, and so on. By the uh, 64 square, the amount came to more than uh, 18 quintillion. 18 quintillion grain of rice. A modern example of this type of growth is more laws. This law say that the power of computer uh, microchip to ball every 18 months. We can see the effect on this if we compare the space shuttle with the smartphone. The computer on the first space shuttle could process uh, 400,000 uh, instructions per second and had a memory of uh, 424 kilobytes. Kilobyte. Kilobyte. A modern smartphone is over 35,000 uh, times quicker and has over uh, 33, 33 million. 33 million times more memory. This increase in computing uh, power has caused scientific discovery to speed up. It took the human uh, Zen, Zen, Genome. Genome project uh, 13 years from uh, 1990 to 2003 to analyze the entire human genome. Due, due to faster computer, scientists can now do this in a week. In the next uh, decade, a computer will acquire the power of the human brain. This may result in the development of computers that are more intelligent than human. This, uh, the, po the possible consequences of this uh, uh, profound and the increasing speed of scientific discovery is also party, uh, partly the result of larger social trend. In the 1960s, in the UK, about 5% of young people went to university. Nowadays, 40% of people in UK do a degree. Uh, why will mm -hmm. in fi Finland the number has reached uh, eighty percent between two thousand and two thousand ten. Uh, the number of stu students studying in universities abroad rose by seventy five percent because of increase in university students. More people now do research at a postgraduate level. This has created greater competition between research departments for funding. As a result, there is more pressure on scientists to publish uh, their findings quickly. This new research led to another new discovery, and as a consequence, new technologies and develop more uh, rapidly. This speech of change is hard to cope with because it means we need to keep learning and adapting, but we better get used to it. It's not going to slow down. Okay, thank you very much. I also have to read because I asked you to read, so I have to read as well, right? I read for you one more time uh, as a review, and we also take this opportunity to wait for the other people, uh, other students. Okay, the power of, power of numbers. There is an Indian legend that go like this. Once upon a time, a king challenged a pilgrim to a game of chess. The pilgrim agreed, but on one condition. If the king lost, he would put a single grain of rice on the first chess square, and then the ball the amount on every square after that. The king lost and then discovered the price he had to pay. One grain on the first square, two on the second, 
four on the third, eight on the fourth, and so on. By the sixteen, uh, by the sixty-four square, the amount came to more than eighteen quintillion grains of rice. A modern example of this type of growth is Moore's law. This law says that the power of computer microchips double every 18 months. We can see the effects of this if we compare the special toll with a smartphone, and the computer on the first special toll could process 400,000 instructions per second and had a memory of 424 kilobytes. A modern smartphone is over 35,000 times quicker and has over 33 million times more memory. These increases in computing power have caused scientific discovery to speed up. It took the Human Genome Project 13 years, from 1990 to 2003, to analyze the entire human genome. Due to fast computers, scientists can now do this in a week. In the next decade, Decades, computers will equal the power of human brain. This may result in the development of computers that are more intelligent than humans. The possible sequences of this are profound. The increasing speed of scientific discovery is also partly the result of larger social trends. In the 1960s, in the UK, about 5% of young people went to university. Nowadays, 40% of people in the UK do a degree, whilst in Finland, the number has reached 80%. Between 2000 and 2010, the number of students studies, uh, studying in university abroad rose by 75%. Because of the increase in university students, more people now do research at a postgraduate level. This has created greater competition between research departments for funding. As a result, there is more pressure on scientists to publish their findings quickly. This new research leads to other new discoveries, and as a consequence, new technologies are developed more rapidly. The speed of change is hard to cope with because it means we need to keep learning and adapting. But we better get used to it. It's not going to slow down. Okay, thank you very much, everyone, for your attention. <laughs> okay, uh, last week we already read this, and we also answer question number one until number six here. I'm not going, we're not going to read them again. And uh, actually, vocabulary, the speed of change, this one I just copy from uh, this page for capture the, the speed of change. So please don't be confused. All right. OK, the reason I. I borrow the title from the other page for this page, because our today lesson is about cause and effects. Yeah, you know, cause and effect. We already learned from last week. We already learned some of them. I mean, last week I also translate for you. Normally you translate like um, cost. You translate like this, right? And this one we translate like this. And we also have one we call a uh, uh, re reason, reason and and result. Okay, reason the same. You can translate like that and result like that. So cause and effect or reason and result. OK, now I have one sentence for you. Um, uh, OK, you can say that I. Can. Study well. Because. My Internet. Week. OK, I can study well because my Internet is, is weak. So now I just want to know. Right. I just want to know. So we have two, right? We have I, 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 I can't study well. And one more we have my Internet is weak. So which one is the cost? Hmm. 
My internet is weak. My internet is weak is the the cause. Okay, sorry. Is the cause okay? And this one is the if effect. Agree? Okay, because you see the word because here. So if you want to uh, change the sentence like uh, I can study well because of if you say want to say because of because of my internet connection so you see now i have one more sentence but i use because of because of if you translate in khmer the same like because just the same they are the same but if you use it in a sentence if you use it in a sentence because of you have to plus with noun or noun phrase and because you have to plus with a sentence we have verb here my internet is weak but because of with noun because of you because of the school because of covid 19 i cannot come to school because of covid 19 okay i cannot go out at night with my friends because of covid 19 so because of with with only noun or or fresh or noun or children but with because you have to make it with a sentence okay everyone take note already mm -hmm. hello oh you cannot hear me yeah the child all right any problem with this No teacher. No teacher. Okay. If no, let's continue. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you don't have problem, so then I give you one more word. The word uh do to. So we have the word do to, right? So do two and because of the same meaning in Khmer and the same uh, usage. You can say I can study well due to my internet connection. Connection. I can study well due to my internet connection. I can study well because of my internet connection. They are the same. In Khmer, they are the same with the word because. But when we talk about usage, they are a little bit different. For word because with sentence and for the because of and do to with noun or with verb ing. Okay, so we have more example for you and uh, you're gonna find out some of the some of them in, in our exercise right here. Okay, so look at the phrases in italics. Italics, you see italics. So number uh, sentence number one, we have the word because of, right? Okay, I, I use the green here. This is because of. Oh no, I, I would use the other color. I think I would use the, um, this one. It's not so clear. So we have the word, we have because of. Italic. Okay, everyone, italic. Okay, and number two, where can you find that word? As a consequence. As a consequence, I tell like here. Okay, number three. Because. Okay, you have a word because. Number four. Do. Do to. Do to. Yeah. Do yes, to. Number five. Let let to. Has led to I think. Has led. Okay. Number six. Result in. Resulted in. Yeah. Resulted in. 
Okay, number seven. What's the result of? Yeah, what's the result of? Okay, number eight. Will cost. Future, okay, will cost. Number nine. As a result. As a result. Number ten. Will create. Okay, we'll create. All right, so uh, we find out the italics. So we want they want you to look at the italic phrases and the sentence and use to talk about uh, this italic talk used to talk about cause and effect. Now they want you to underline the cause. Now they underline the cause here. So after this one, because of is the cause. The falls in cells. This is the cause. You underline it and and circle. You circle the effect. We will need to cut our cells teams. Now, if you look at our example right here again, okay. I just clean this one up. Uh, they want you to underline the cost, so you underline like this. Yeah, underline. Correct. And they want you to call the to call the 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 effect. These are the effect. So the same thing with our exercise here. Underline the cause and so call the effect. Now we do number two together. We close down our factory in England. As a consequence, we have managed to lower our products cost significantly. So they want you to underline. The cost. Where is the cost? We so if you want to underline the cost. Yes, yeah, yes. OK, thank you. OK, thank you very much for your answer. But I have to say this to you. If you want to underline the cost, you need to know the italic word of phrases here. Right? As a consequence, if you translate in Khmer like this. So at the moment, someone said, I think in the line, right? The one who said, no, oh, no, uh, no, well, yeah. Okay, so we closed down our factory in England. Is the, is the one? It's the cost. So, so, yeah, it's the cost. Okay, this one is the cost. And we have managed to lower our product cost significantly. This one is the? Wait. Effect, All right? If you know, if you know the italic word here, and then it is easy for you to find out the cause and effect. Okay, now number three until number ten, I want you to do it by yourself. So you start from so when you start from now. I don't know how many minutes because right now I have to go to the toilet a bit. All right. <laughs> so you can do this exercise. When I come back, we can check the answer. Is it all right, everyone? Hello. Yes. And and the line. If if someone is late and will let, if someone is late, if they ask question or if they ask for me, say that our teacher is going to the toilet. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you very much. But you gotta do this exercise, everyone. Number one and uh, number three until number ten. Cause and effect.
Okay, everyone, welcome back. So now let's check the answer together. Number three, Belinda quit her job because she wants to start her own business. So where is the cost? Hello, everyone. I am back now. Uh, the car, uh, billion back with her job. Billion she back with her job. Her own company. She want to start her own company. She want to start her own company, right? Okay, so she want to start her own company is the cost. And Belinda quit her job is the is the effect, right? Okay, she want to start. This is the cost. So then she quit her job and open it. Okay, how about number four? Due to the rising price of copper, our manufacturing costs have increased. The word do to and because of the same meaning. <laughs> okay, so where is the cost? Due to uh, the, the rising rise of, copper. Rise of yeah, copper. Yeah. The rise of copper. The rising of copper is the cost. And our, man, our manufacturing costs have increased. This is the effect. effect. Yeah. Okay, and number five, the the new laws led to a reduction in crime. Let's to the new law is the result of a reduction in crime. So, which one is the cost? A reduction okay. in crime. Yeah, reduction in time is the cost. No, the, the, the word leads to it in, in Khmer is like this, you know, if you draw the line, it's like this in uh, mathematics. The line. Yeah. The law new is a cause. Yeah, the, the law new or the new law? The new law. <laughs> the new law is the cause and a reduction. OK, reduction in crime is the result. OK, number six. The marketing campaigns resulted in a 15% increase in sales. So, yeah, result. Uh, this, this one is important uh, if you work for international company. So when you read the report, you should know which one is the cost which one is the result, you know? What happened to your company? What happened to the sales? What happened to the economic? You have to know the cause and effect, and you have to use the word or phrases to describe the phenomena, to describe um, what ha ha happening. Okay, so number six, which one is the cause? Don't worry, I just want to test. The marketing campaign. Okay. The marketing campaign is the cost and a 15% increase in sale is the result. Effect. Oh, sorry. Yeah, result or effect. <laughs> you can use the result or effect. Uh, so meaning to say that has lead to and result in the same meaning. You can take note, everyone. Has lead to and result in the same meaning. Not, the, not really the same, but they are similar. Okay. Right, similar. And as a consequence, also similar to them. But consequent here, we, we use with two sentences. Uh, first sentence, full stop, and the second sentence, comma. And this one we use in the middle. Okay, number seven. The falls in, sh in share prices in 2008 was the result of the banking crisis. Oh, a lot of good words that you learn from here. Huh? Okay, so... Which one is the the bank king the bank crisis, crisis is, the is the cost is the cost. All right, you are right. The banking crisis is the cost, and the fall in share prices in 2008 is the result. So you see, what's the result of and result in opposite? You can take note, everyone. 
you have to be smart to take note by yourself. Can you follow? The result in and what's the result of, they are opposite. Okay? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, sentence number six. If you want to change, you can say a uh, fifteen percent increase in sales was was the result of the marketing campaign. If you want to write a new sentence, which have the same meaning, but you want to start with the effect here, you have to use this one. Now I give you one by one, so you can take note and make no mistake with this one. Now sentence number six here. If you want to write, you want to start with a. Uh, okay, I make it a uh, bit. I make blue. Okay, so you can say like, uh, right, fifteen percent increase in sales. Okay, you don't want to use uh, you don't want to use resulted in. This is in the past, so this one you have to use was. So you if you want to use was the result of it was the result of the marketing campaign. Okay, guys, you see now sentence number six. I, I write a new one, but different style. They are the same. You only change the keyword here. What's the result of the cause and effect link words, linking words. So then you can change the order of the sentence. So it depends on you. If you understand this very well, you can write any kind of sentence you want. You know why you need to start with a 50% increase in self? Maybe because you want to get your reader attention on that one. Then you can change that. All right. Okay, uh, let's go to number eight. OK, let's go to number eight. The factory will cause more pollution in the surrounding area. Which one is the cause? Hello? The factory. The factory is the cause. And this one is the result. Okay, factory is the cause, and will cause is it will cause more pollution in the surrounding area. Okay, you know the cause and the effect. Okay, very good. Number nine, we recently spent more money on advertising. As a result, sales of our new smartphone have risen. So, which one is the cause? We recently spent more money on advertising. Perfect, perfect. And sale of our new smartphone have risen. That is the effect. And you can see as a result and as a consequence, the same meaning. They both have the same meaning, the same usage. Yeah. So we have consequence. We have has led to, will result in, will cause a cause here. They have the same meaning. Okay, number 10, the development of business pack will create hundreds of jobs in the area. So? The development of business pack is a cause. All right, so this is the cause and this is the effect. Okay, very good. So now let's practice reading this one together, okay? Number one, because of, because of the falls in sales. Okay, guys, I want you to pay attention because all the words, the example here, the word choice, the word sentence structure are very good for you as a business student. If you want to improve, you want to read uh, the English book for more understanding, or you going to write some report or marketing, you know promotion for your company in English and then this word I think would, would have you a lot. Because of the falls in sales, we 
will need to cut our sales team. Number two, we closed down our factory in England. As a consequence, we managed to lower our production costs significantly. Number three, Belinda quit her job because she wants to start her own company. Number four, due to the rising price of copper, our manufacturing costs have increased. Number five, the new law has led to a reduction in crime. Number six, the marketing campaigns resulted in a 15% increase in sales. Number seven, the falls in share prices in 2008 was the result of the banking crisis. Number eight, the factory will cause more pollutions in the surrounding area. Number nine, We've recently spent more money on advertising. As a result, sales of our new smartphone have risen. And number 10, the development of the business park will create hundreds of jobs in the area. Okay, so please, you may ask me some word. I may translate for you, but I would like some student to practice reading this one first. So I think, Suji, can you read, please? One, because of the fall in sale, we will need to cut our tin sale, uh, our fell team. Two, we closed down our Victoria in England. A uh, uh, consequence, we have managed to lower our production cost significantly. Significantly. Yeah. Three. Belinda quit her job because she wants to start her own company. Four, due to rising price of copper, our manufacturing costs have in increased. Five, the new law has led to a reduction in crime. Six, the marketing campaign result in a fifteen hundred increase. Fifteen percent increase in the sale. Seven, the fall in share price in 2008 was the result of banking crisis. Eight, the factory will cause more pollution in the surrounding area. Nine, we recently spent more money on advertising a result sale of our new smartphone have risen. 10. The development of business park will create hundreds of jobs in the area. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have any questions with the words or phrases that you want me to translate for you? Chair number eight. Number eight, only number eight, no number eight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, number eight. What 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 is your question? More pollution in the surrounding area. You don't know the word pollution. Pollution like this. Surrounding area, sir. Yeah. Surrounding, right? And this one factory okay now if they set up one factory uh, here near, near beer bry and then beer bry is gonna get some pollution from the the factory so student cannot come to school and study because of the pollution so surrounding area okay can you can you read this one right i think you can right uh suji is okay here in Khmer like this Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. What else, everyone? Hello? Number four, uh, manufacturing. Manufacturing. Oh, manufacturing. Uh, similar to the word factory. Oh, but this one is additive. Uh, manufacturing cost. So the word manufacture. 
we have I write here menu factor. This one similar to the word factory can be smaller factory and you can also use this one in verb, you know, like manufacture. If you buy Coca Cola, if you buy, you know, sometimes beer, sometimes what, whatever, maybe uh, uh, butter or cake or, you know, everything from Thailand, they say like this manufacture, uh, manufacture, they put like this, D like this in Thailand, for example. Yeah. Uh, in Khmer, you just translate simply like this. If, if you say manufacture in Thailand. All right, but manufacture here similar to the word uh, factory. And uh, if you say manufacturing costs, uh, manufacturing costs come together. Uh, this one, if you study management or business, you have to know manufacturing costs. I translate here, okay? Can you follow? Or you can say like this. Oh no, I just say like this. Okay, guys, manufacturing costs. Manufacturing here is additive and cost is noun. But if you want to, to ask me the word manufacture, okay, similar to the word factory. Manufacture by, or in Thailand, this one. Okay, any more word? Okay, I'm not going to wait for you anymore. So let's go to the next one. If you don't ask. Okay, oh. So before we are going to this, uh, I will clean up the mice here first. Right. I will clean it up. So I will, when I discard, and then it's going to be new again. <laughs> And then I will give you one more page because I want to give you more explanation. OK. OK, so this one already cleaned up. All right, and we go to this page, blank page. Now, I just want you to give uh, to read number one until number 10 here. So we have because of number two, we have as a consequence. I, I want you to to give me those things. So number one, we have because of, right? So we have because of. Oh, sorry. I will write here because. Oh, what happened? Okay, because of. Number two, what is it? Hmm. Hello? Uh, number two. As a, a consequence. Okay, as a consequence. Once. Number three. Number three because. Because. Yeah. What is it? Number four. Number four. Do to. Do to a uh, small or big no problem. Do. Two, okay. Number five. Number five has led to. Has led to, or you can just say lead to, all right? Has led to is present, perfect. Lead to is present, simple. Okay, what else? Uh, number six, uh, result in. Resulted Re in. Okay, resulted in, come from the word result, right? Result in. Result is present in Paul. Okay, what else? Number one was the result of. Okay, is the result, you can say the result of. Number eight. Number eight will cost. Okay, just say cost. Number nine. Number nine as a result. As a result. As a result. Number 10. Number 10 will create. I just use the word create because will here is in the future. Okay, so now we can go to this one by one together. 
Okay, guys. So now, start with the word. Uh, this one number one because of. So I will, I will, I will write them here. So because of and do to the same. They are the same. Okay. You can say uh, I. Uh, what i get good grade because of my hard working because i i work hard because my hard work for example Okay, or if you want to just do two or so the same thing, I get good grade, do to my hard work. So do to and because the same meaning, the same style. Now, if you want to put it in, in front here, you can say because of, you can have to have capital B, of my hard work okay then you have to have comma because you put the book because of your first i get good grade do two or so the same thing okay guys okay uh for now, you don't need to take note. If you want to take, you can also watch the video again. Don't worry, or do the screenshot for this one. So are you ready with this one? Can I go to the next one? Okay. So I, I, the next one I would be, uh, I would goes to um, the word because, because they are because is similar to the word because of and do to. So because here, the same meaning. But this because have to plus with sentence. Okay, plus with sentence. For example, if you want to make the same example, I get good grade because I work because I work hard. I work hard is a sentence but we do because of and do too no not with sentence this is plus with noun or noun fresh right or you can say noun fresh or you can call children sometimes you can call children children here is verb ing verb ing verb ing that is because of and do to. For because you have to plus with sentence. I get good grade because I work hard. Okay. Any question with because and because of? All right. If you don't have, I will clean it and then we go to the next one. So we finish this one, finish this one and this one. Can we go to the next one? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's go. Okay, so now let's go to as the consequence and as the result they are the same so as a con sequence remember this one ce at the end right and this one the same with as a result as a result the same translation the same meaning but this one if you want to use this one you need two sentences okay so you can say that i work hard full stop full stop okay as a result or as a consequence 
I get good grade. Okay? You have two sentences. So first sentence, I work hard. That's a second sentence. I get good grade. And as a result here, after the first sentence and then comma. Is it all right? Yes, you also can you also can uh, say it as a consequence. I work hard as a consequence. I get good grade. OK, OK, in my like this. OK, so if you are OK with that, then we can continue to the next one. OK, we continue with OK, this one finish, finish. We continue with little result in. OK. And uh, lead to and result in that they are the same. Right or wrong? So you can go back to our previous slide. We have lead to, result in, create, and uh, one more cause. So they are the same. A lot of them are the same, right? So we have uh, now lead to, result in, Remember, we have the word result and in. They have cost. And they have what? Create. Why they are the same? You can look at sentence number five here. Lead two, this is the cost. And result in, this is the cost. And uh, cost, this is the cost. And uh, will create, and this is the cost. So they are the same. So it, if you want to, this one must be in the middle of the sentence because they are verb. Okay. Uh, okay. If you cannot follow the way I write, please let me know. Okay. So these these are verb, right? So verb they have to be in the middle of the sentence. So you have to start something with like the cause plus this word. This this one we have led to. Okay, I put like this, or you can say create, hope you understand, and plus uh, effect. Now, if you want to use them, you understand? Yeah? Okay, now I do the same sentence for you. Yeah? My hard work. Yeah? Leads to uh, leads me to get good grade. Okay, but but this one is okay to use with leads to, but not okay to use with create or not okay to use or result also okay no problem. My hard work results in a good grade, a good grade, no problem. Sometimes when you use them, you need object. Sometimes you don't need uh, don't need use object. But the form of them are the same, and the meaning in Khmer they are also the same. Cause plus lead to result in or or cause here plus the add plus effect. It must be like that. And they are opposite of this one the result the result of cause a little to create cause create here result in here opposite of this one the result of okay guys this is my explanations on uh, what we practice in exercise three here if you have question you can ask okay Thank you very much. If you don't have, now let's go to next one. Uh, this is listening practice. And um, we have, right, two couples. They look very happy. Okay, these are young and these are old. And what do we call this one, guys? Kindle, right? Uh, Kindle is for reading the book. 
it is it is similar to it, it looks similar to ipad or tablet or anything but um, this one mainly for reading the book no youtube <laughs> no facebook there only the books i have one at my house okay and uh, now listen to four people talking about changing trends something trend means something that that is pop popular now something that is popular now that is we call trend listen to four people talking about changing trends what topic are they talking about so you just write only the topic right here okay the topic for example i i just gave you one one example um and nowadays uh, the style of learning is completely different from the past everyone has smartphone or a laptop so they would like to study right from home rather than come to school and study in the class so what what is the topic of my What do we talk about? So I talk about online learning. Online learning become a trend. It become popular now. OK, so now we can listen and write down the topic of these four speakers. Are you ready? Yes, sir. OK, thank you. 3.3. 3. One. Because of the growing popularity of 3D television, I think TV will have a bigger impact upon sport in the future. The Wimbledon Tennis Championship is now shown in 3D in some countries. I think 3D technology will be used for all sports in future. It makes watching the games a lot more exciting. I also think there will be more sporting events in Asia and Africa. In these areas, sports viewing figures are growing rapidly. Due to this, I think we'll see a lot more sports people coming from these countries. Two. I think the number of people living alone will rise dramatically in the next few decades. This will be a major trend. In the 15 years between 1996 and 2011, the number of people living alone globally rose from 153 million to 277 million, an increase of around 80%. In the UK, 34% of households have one person living in them. In Sweden, the figure is even higher. 47% of Swedish households now only have one person living in them. As a consequence, one of the big problems will be social isolation. People may suffer from loneliness. This may also result in a rise in property prices. 3. For me, one of the most interesting future trends is the movement of people to other countries. In the future, an increasing number of retired people from Europe or the USA will retire in developing nations such as in Latin America, Africa, etc. This growing trend is the result of economic changes. As the value of their pensions falls, older people will find that they can live more cheaply in developing nations. For the developing nations, this will lead to many social changes. It will create new jobs and bring more money into the country. Hopefully, everyone will benefit. Four. I work in publishing and the big future trend for me is the change to digital publishing. There is an increasing demand for digital content. People want to access books through digital devices, such as a Kindle or a tablet. As a result, the way we publish books is changing. I think people will always want printed books, but will also need to provide ebooks or other digital content. Digital publishing will cause major changes to the way we work. It's an exciting development, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens over the next few years.
OK, so now let's listen again. 3.3. One. Because of the growing popularity of 3D television, I think TV will have a bigger impact upon sport in the future. The Wimbledon Tennis Championship is now shown in 3D in some countries. I think 3D technology will be used for all sports in the future. It makes watching the games a lot more exciting. I also think there will be more sporting events in Asia and Africa. In these areas, sports viewing figures are growing rapidly. Due to this, I think we'll see a lot more sports people coming from these countries. 2. I think the number of people living alone will rise dramatically in the next few decades. This will be a major trend. In the 15 years between 1996 and 2011, the number of people living alone globally rose from 153 million to 277 million, an increase of around 80%. In the UK, 34% of households have one person living in them. In Sweden, the figure is even higher. 47% of Swedish households now only have one person living in them. As a consequence, one of the big problems will be social isolation. People may suffer from loneliness. This may also result in a rise in property prices. 3. For me, one of the most interesting future trends is the movement of people to other countries. In the future, an increasing number of retired people from Europe or the USA will retire in developing nations, such as in Latin America, Africa, etc. This growing trend is the result of economic changes. As the value of their pensions falls, older people will find that they can live more cheaply in developing nations. For the developing nations, this will lead to many social changes. It will create new jobs and bring more money into the country. Hopefully, everyone will benefit. 4. I work in publishing, and the big future trend for me is the change to digital publishing. There is an increasing demand for digital content. People want to access books through digital devices, such as a Kindle or a tablet. As a result, the way we publish books is changing. I think people will always want printed books, but will also need to provide ebooks or other digital content. Digital publishing will cause major changes to the way we work. It's an exciting development, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens over the next few years. Okay, so what is the topics for the first speaker? Remember, the topics is normally repeated again and again, and you hear that word many times. So, number one, what is it? Just guess, all right? 3D television. 3D television. Yeah. Okay, very good. 3D television and sport. So you see the word TD uh, 3D television, sport, TD television, sport. Okay, how about speaker two? Talk about the people that living alone. Okay, people living alone. See, you are smart now. Number three. Economic. Economic. How about other student? Not sure. About about economic. Okay, people retiring abroad. Yeah, if they if they are Americans, they work very hard, they save money, and they get pensions when they are old, so they cannot survive in their country well. They can come and live in Cambodia. Some of them are very old. They even married the young girls. <laughs> very bad, right? 
Okay, and uh, a lot of people, you know, nowadays, when they retire, especially in Europe and America, they move to live in uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, even Thailand, but not many in our country. Okay, how about the, the last one, speaker four? What was it about? Digital. Digital what? Book. Digital book. Okay, digital publishing. Uh, they said that in the future, it is likely that there will be a digital publishing because people do not want to have, you know, to carry books, to buy books anymore. If they have one smartphone, they can have one million books there in, in the smartphone, right? But you cannot get one million book in your house and you cannot carry one million book with you. But if you have smartphone, million book is in your hand. You can read anytime you want. Correct or not? That's why people are going to publish digital books. Digital, everything is in digital. Uh, people who are working hard, who really want to study and upgrade themselves, they're going to spend time reading the books online, right, in their phone. But people who are lazy, they don't care, whatever, they don't read. Sometimes they have thousands of books in their phone, but they don't read, right? Just sleep, don't know what to do, don't know what to do. So everything, just don't know what to do every day, don't know what to do, don't know what to read. Read for what? Yeah. Have you have have you ever get the feeling? Oh, I don't know what to read. I don't know what to review. What what do I do? Okay, just eat, sleep, watch YouTube, watch the video, go around the house, sit in front of the house, talk to friends, cook foods. That's all. <laughs> Guys, have you ever experienced that? When we open the book, we don't know what to read. When we read, we feel like, oh, I know everything. <laughs> okay, the line, does it happen to you? Uh, yes, teacher. Oh, so is it, how, how about now? Uh, now still sometime. Yeah, sometimes, don't know what to read, eh? But you have smartphone, yeah. you, you can, you can, if you study business, you can just go to check, you know, um, World Bank, right? A World Bank, you can check the financial report. There are a lot of news there as well. What happened to Cambodia, economic, right? Africa, economic, Americans. So the more you read, the more you improve yourself. Remember, um, if you want to become a manager or successful business person in the future, you need to have a lot of information. Information about the world, information about your country. Uh, if you don't read, then you know nothing. If you know nothing, you cannot become a manager. You only become an assistant. And some people, they wait until they get a job and study and, and, and then they have work hard. No, sometimes it's too late. It, you all get a job, no doubt. Everyone gonna get a job. But the job is well paid or not, we don't know. Manager or not, we don't know, right? It depends on you. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I kind of speak a lot about this topic and then we can continue to the next one. So we finish this one and then we can have a break, right? Study more. Okay, <laughs> complete the sentences with these phrases. Sometimes more than one phrase is possible. Listen again and compare your answer with the phrases used in the recording. So each one of these, you can use more than one, no problem, because some of them have the same meaning, like I already explained to you, right? They have similar meaning, some of them, or the same. And we also have this thing from the tape here. You will listen and check your answer. Okay, so just try your best to do number one as an example together. So number one, the growing popularity of 
3D television, I think TV will have a bigger impact upon sport. What is it? Because of. Yeah, see, l l l listen. 3.3. 3. 1. Because of the growing popularity of 3D television, I think TV will have a bigger impact upon sport. Okay, so number one, because of even you don't listen, you may be able to put it, right? So you can put because of or due to, because they both have the same meaning. But from the listening, because of, all right? So because of, and this is the, the what? This is the, the cause, and this is the result, or the effect. Okay, so number two until number eight, I want to spend to spend around six minutes or five minutes completing this thing by yourself. So we will check the answer together at 8.34. Okay, guys, please. If you have questions, you can ask. If you don't have, enjoy your exercise. <laughs> okay.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, now time is up. Let's check the answer together. Number two, there will be more sporting events in Asia and Africa. This one, what is it? Hello? Hello? Um, okay. The result of? The result of? The result of this, right? Okay, so I will say the result of... Okay. And the How about other students? Do you have the answer? If, if you keep quiet, you know, it doesn't help you to learn. You just join for attendance. You know, like you go to watch a movie. After you watch, you get nothing. Okay. Okay. There will be more sporting event in Asia and Africa result to this. Okay. I'm not going to read more because we're going to read it again after we finish this one. Okay. Number three. 47% of Swedish household now only have one person living in them. What is it? Uh, a consequence. Okay, as a consequence. Okay, number four. This may also little little so little a rise in property prices. Number five, this growing trend is the result of the result of okay. Okay, number six for the developing nation, this will so I put learn to will learn to. Yeah. Let two. Learn two. Lit. What else? That's all. You have. If you have different answer, you can give me. Okay, number seven. People want to access books through digital devices, such as a Kindle or a tablet. What is it? As a result. As a result. Okay, number eight. Digital publishing will. Cost because okay so now let's listen and check the answer together are you lady <laughs> lady <laughs> okay here we go 3.3 one because of the growing pop this one number one because of right popularity of 3d television i think tv will have a bigger impact upon sport in the future the Wimbledon Tennis Championship is now shown in 3D in some countries. I think 3D technology will be used for all sports in future. It makes watching the games a lot more exciting. I also think there will be more sporting events in Asia and Africa. In these areas, sports viewing figures are growing rapidly. Due to this... What is it? Due to this, right? So you can say because of or due to this, but from the listening, it's due to. Okay. Okay, due to this, continue. I think we'll see a lot more sports people coming from these countries. Two. I think the number of people living alone will rise dramatically in the next few decades. This will be a major trend. In the 15 years between 1996 and 2011, the number of people living alone globally rose from 153 million to 277 million, an increase of around 80%. In the UK, 34% of households have one person living in them. In Sweden, the figure is even higher. 47% of Swedish households now only have one person living in them. As a consequence... So you are right, as a consequence. So as a consequence, you also can say as a result, right? From the listening, as a consequence. But in real practice, you want to use as a result. You are, are fine with it. Okay, now continue. 
One of the big problems will be social isolation. People may suffer from loneliness. This may also result in a rise in property prices. What is it, number four? Hello? Also result. Also result. Okay, this may also result in, right? This also result in only two. Little also okay, no problem. It is also correct. But from the listening, result in. Okay? Uh, I give you more choices like this. It's good for you to practice in the future. Okay, number five. Prices. Three. For me, one of the most interesting future trends is the movement of people to other countries. In the future, an increasing number of retired people from Europe or the USA will retire in developing nations, such as in Latin America, Africa, etc. This growing trend is the result of economic changes. So is the result of so is the result of here? Yeah? You can put do to or because of. So is the result of and do to and because of here the same the same meaning and the same usage as well. You can take note. All right, guys. Hello. From yes, the reasoning, is, yeah, is the result of. But in practice, you can say do to or because of it up to you. Okay, continue. As the value of their pensions falls, older people will find they can live more cheaply in developing nations. For the developing nations, this will lead to many social changes. It will create new jobs and bring more money into the country. Okay. Uh, uh, the Oh, my number six, what is it? Will leads to. So from the listening, it's lead to, but you can also use the resilient. Okay, continue. Hopefully, everyone will benefit. Four. I work in publishing, and the big future trend for me is the change to digital publishing. There is an increasing demand for digital content. People want to access books through digital devices, such as a Kindle or a tablet. As a result, the okay. So as a result, right? Okay, you can say as a result or as a consequence. Way we publish books is changing. I think people will always want printed books, but will also need to provide e-books or other digital content. Digital publishing will cause major will cause major changes in the way we work. Okay, so now I will uh, practice the reading here for you uh, together with you but one i read i will you choose only one okay you can uh, you can choose either one but i will use only one among them right to get our confusion okay number one because of the growing popularity of 3d television i think tv will have a bigger impact upon sport uh one day okay number two there will be more sporting events in Asia and Africa. Because of this, I think we'll see a lot more sport people coming from these countries. Number three, 47% of Swedish households now only have 1% living in them. As a consequence, one of the big problems will be social isolation. Number four, this may also result in a rise in property uh, prices. Number five, the growing trend is the result of economic changes. Number six, for the developing nations, this will result in many social changes. Number seven, people want to assess books through digital devices, such as a Kindle or a tablet. As a result, the way we publish books is changing. Number eight, digital publishing will cause major changes to the way we work. Okay, now before we have a break, uh, Sripa, I want you to read again, number one and two, number eight, a hundred times. Number one, because of, <laughs> number one, because of the growing popular, popularities of the 3D television, I think TV will have the bigger impact upon sport. Number two, there will be more sporting events in Asia and Africa because of because of this. I think we will see a lot more sport people coming from this country. Number three, forty-one percent of the Swedish household now only have one person living in them. 
in them. As a consequence, consequence, one of the big problems will be social isolation. Number four, this may also result in a rise in the property prices. Number five, this growing trend, this growing trend is the result of economic change. Number six, for the developing net for the developing nation, this will result in many social change. Number seven, people want to access book those digital devices such as a candle or a tablet. As a result, the way we publish book in the chanting. Number eight, digital publishing will cause major change to the ways we work. That's all, Cha. I, I ask you to read a hundred times, so about. Now only one time. Yeah, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Right now you can enjoy your break. We're going to come back at 9, 9, 10 for our second session. Thank you very much for the first session. See you again at the second session. Bye-bye for now. Bye, Cha. Bye, Cha. Bye, Cha.